So in our final video, we will be looking at ways that you could customize this even further. So we've already added text. We've edited the styles of that text by editing the CSS. Um, we've created the timeline and added cues to the timeline. Um, cues meaning triggering different uh, video clips or triggering different effects. But let's say you want to edit the effects themselves or add another layer of interactivity. Um, I will point you in the right direction for doing that kind of thing. Um, so all of the visual aspects of this example are using a web-based video synthesizer called Hydra, Hydra Video Synth. Um, I actually created Hydra three years ago um, and it is, it, it is free and runs in the browser and you can use it as its own editor or you can use it as a library um, within, within um, a web page. Um, you could also use it for live performances or you can use it in different ways. Um, right now it's already been included in in our website and uh, we're already using it. It's already set up within this example but I just wanted to show you a little bit more about Hydra so that if you wanted to write your own effects or customize the visuals that you see you could know where to do that and so if you go to hydra.ojack.xyz uh, you see this window with some visual effects behind it um, and and you can cycle through a few different kinds of uh, sketches in the back and if you close this window then you'll actually see see some code and that code controls the visual effect that you see on the screen. So if you want to learn more about Hydra, um, it's, it's too much for this short video, but I recommend checking out the videos that I made last year as part of Colab um, that are creative coding, DIY webcam filters. Um, and there, there's a series of videos on how to use, to use Hydra Synth. Um, but what I will show you today is how to take something you've made with Hydra Synth and how to use it within your um, music video. Um, so let's say I have a bit of Hydra code that I really like. For example, I think the easiest way is to try something out in the editor. So let's say um, I created an oscillator and sent it out. So let's say I did that and I really like that. So um, now what I'll do is I'll go back to my page and um, right now what's what's playing here is effect zero. So um, let's say I wanted to, or, or sorry, it's effect one. So let's say I wanted to edit edit what's here. So I could scroll down until I find where it says function effect one. Um, and instead of what's here, I could put my, my fancy Hydra code that I really, oops, that didn't, my copy paste didn't work. I'm going to go back and uh, copy this. So I will copy, go back here, Go back here and paste. There we have. It. And now you see um, I've changed the background using the Hydra code um, that I copied from over here. So I could, um, let's say, maybe I want to still use, and, and uh, all of these examples only use um, S0 as a source. So let's say I want to. Um, have have my image and have the oscillator. I could do that. I could add some pixelation to everything. Um, now I have this pixelate. I could um, uh, 
maybe I want something to respond to the mouse. Uh, in which case I will have it respond to the X position of the mouse. Um, and so in this way you can create different effects um, and and trigger and using the time the cue list you can trigger those different effects at different points in the video and so right here I was editing effect one and so effect one is what happens when nothing else has been loaded um, and yeah, I really, if you're interested in this and interested in understanding more what types of things you can add to your video, then I really recommend um, following the videos from last year. But um, you can also just go directly to Hydro Synthesizer and play around, try changing some numbers and find things you like. And then you could also, for example, if I like this, I could uh, copy this this code. Let's see, hopefully my copy paste works this time. Oops, we'll copy and then come back here and I'm gonna change effect one again, so let's see. Um, now, one thing I should mention is that here I just copied a bit of code and here there's the author of that code. Um, Richie and so it's good practice I think to credit people whose images you use whose code you use especially because the Hydra community is pretty small so if you use someone's um, code definitely you know add it into the HTML saying thanks I could say um, using code from Richie um, I could type that here and add it. Um, and that concludes this um, tutorial. I'm really looking for I'm really looking forward to seeing what people make with this. Um, this is very much just a teaser to go deeper into HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Hydra, um, and see what you can make. Um, a reminder now, now your website that you've made or your interactive music video is already online. And if you go to show in a new window, you will um, have, your, have your link that you can share with your friends. Um, so thank you for joining me today.